Hey look, it's Christmas time. Merry Christmas everyone. Here's a look back at what we've been up to this year and what we'll be up to in 2021. Hello everyone, take off your snow covered shoes at the door, grab an eggnog. That's right, just drop your coat on the floor, we'll see to that. Welcome to the Rebellion Christmas message. And first things first, let's acknowledge that 2020's events haven't been the best. And as you're watching this, you might be spending Christmas a bit differently than usual. We hope you and your loved ones are all safe and well, and we all look forward to a much brighter 2021. Now then, let's take a look at all the titles released last year and the ones we're gearing up for the coming year. You don't catch the Queen doing this during her speech, but if I could just quickly draw your attention down to that subscribe button down there, we put out new videos every week, so get it pressed if you want to make sure you don't miss out. Last February feels like a very long time ago now, but it was amidst this atmosphere of crisp winter air and people thinking of funny things to write inside Valentine's cards that Zombie Army 4 was released. Number 4 built on its predecessors by taking a great big stride forwards graphically into these murky and incredible locales, each brimming with incidental detail and horror movie easter eggs, and also by the inclusion of this shark. I mean, it's an undead weaponized shark, I think that speaks for itself, doesn't it? After arriving on PC and consoles in February, it also arrived on Stadia on May the 1st and was quickly bolstered with DLC reinforcements thereafter. Here on the channel, we've explored deeper and deeper into the claustrophobic tunnels of a new three-part adventure, and while Terror Lab, Blood Count and Deeper Than Hell all feel distinct in their influences and atmospheres, they have a continuous narrative throughline running along them. A throughline in which, would you believe it, Hitler's been mucking about with occult stuff again, and frankly, he's made a real mess of things. New characters, weapons, skins and charms all signed up to fight off the Horde along the way, and Season 2 of the DLC kicked off in October with some Halloween-themed treats, and in Damnation Valley, a new adventure with some tricks up its sleeve. Also, one time I accidentally threw a sticky grenade at Luis's back, and she still hasn't forgiven me, so there's that. Sniper Elite 4 also expanded its horizons this year, making its way onto Stadia and Nintendo Switch this autumn, where it brings a unique set of co-op and multiplayer experiences that PC, Xbox and Xbox One players already know and love. And speaking of Sniper Elite, we showed off a little bit more of the upcoming Sniper Elite VR, a totally new story separate from Carl's Capers, but more on that as we look ahead to 2021. I think we all know there's a big gift-wrapped elephant in the room, and we'd better unwrap it pronto because I'm not totally sure it can breathe under all that sellotape. Evil Genius 2 is arriving in 2021. Sequel to a cult classic spy-fi management sandbox released way back in 2004, EG2 has a lot to offer the faithful who never stopped playing the original, and its scope goes way beyond that too. Playing the titular megalomaniac of the type sharply dressed British spies have been trying to topple now for decades in movies, your objective is as simple as it is nasty. World domination. How you go about it is up to you, this is a sandbox after all, but we can have a pretty good guess it'll involve building a massive doomsday device, people falling through traps in the floor, and a pretty slapdash HR policy that's basically a class action lawsuit waiting to happen. Evil Genius 2 will emerge from its cunningly disguised mountain lair in the first half of next year, and we're incredibly excited to tell you more about it in the coming months, so make sure you're subscribed for new info. There's lots more to talk about next year though, of course. Sniper Elite VR brings the detail and tension of playing a World War II long-distance sharpshooter to the most immersive platform gaming offers, and brings a new campaign featuring an all-new protagonist too. Again, we'll be talking more about it in the new year. Plus, there's plenty more on the way for Zombie Army 4's DLC, with a whole new season kicking off once the current Season 2 is completed. And that is just what we can tell you about right now. I know, no one likes a video to end on a cliffhanger like that, and I'd love to be able to talk about, you know, everything else, but I've just noticed the eggnogs are starting to separate. Shouldn't have left the tray so close to the radiator. So look, we better wrap up our Christmas message here. Thanks for all the support this year, and here's to a wildly better 2021, everyone. Merry Christmas and a very happy new year.